kings and queens, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new, I'm literally Imelda and on this channel we talk all things tech, fashion and lifestyle. And if you are interested in things like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when I drop a new video. And if you're old, welcome, thank you for coming back. And on today's video, I will tell you all the things you need to know after you've put your applications together for the Tech Nation, aka the Global Talent Visa and how to go about applying, what you need to know about the cost, the duration. So if you're keen to know things like this, please stay tuned because without further ado, we're heading into the video. So now you've gone through the whole process of putting your application together and choosing the criteria you're hoping to apply for. Well, congratulations on getting to this stage because this is not an easy fit. Well, now what's next you might ask? What's next is applying for the endorsement, actually applying for it. It's not enough to put your applications together, you must really apply to get it, isn't it? Anyway, so how do you apply for the endorsement now? First of all, you need to go on the gov.uk website. I'll put all the links you need below under the description, so don't worry about it. Everything you need will be put under the description box. So you go on gov.uk website and search the global talent. Under the global talent, you go on the apply page. Now on this application page, it takes you to three options. So you can apply if you're outside the UK or if you want to extend your visa or if you want to switch from one visa to the other. So you select the actual option that applies to you. So if you're outside the UK, you obviously click outside the UK. That link takes you to the application page for this if you're within the uk and you want to extend or switch your visa from like let's say a tier 2 work visa to the tier 1 or global talent visa you click that as well but in all in all all these links depending on which category you fall under takes you to the application page now this application page please please make sure you have your 456 pounds ready because the endorsement application costs 456 pounds so on this application page on the gov.uk website you have to fill in some personal information where you stay your address and all this good stuff and when you fill that all that in you then apply and pay the sum of 456 pounds now when you pay this sum you get a full downloadable copy of your application form with a unique identification number. Please make sure you highlight or keep this identification number safe because you'll be needing it in the next step. Now when you're done applying and paying for it on the gov.uk website, don't be too happy. You have not finished. You've not even started half of the process. Now you have no more than 15 days to go on Tech Nation's website. Remember, I'm only focusing on Tech Nation because that was the route I went through for my endorsement. Now you have no more than 15 days after you've paid this sum of £456 on the gov.uk website to go on the Tech Nation website and upload all your documents. You don't want to pay all that money and forget to upload your documents that you suffered to put together, do you? Within 15 days after paying for the endorsement fee on gov.uk website, you go on Tech Nation website. I'll also put that link below under the description box and then you fill in the application form. Now the application form is very long. It starts with the application form detail, you put in your personal detail and this is where you also put in or fill in the unique identification number you got after payment on the gov.uk website for the endorsement fee. You put in this number, you also put in other sumptuous personal details they'll be asking of you and then the next document you have to fill in is your cv so here you upload your cv upload your references the first three references they ask for or your main mandatory references so reference one two three aka recommendation letter and you upload it also under the technician link and um, please note that you also have to upload all the evidences talking about the mandatory and the optional criteria evidences you've chosen all the documents you upload them under the evidences now please this is very important ensure that you label your evidences accordingly on your documents so let's say you uploaded mandatory evidence make sure that you actually title it properly like mandatory evidence one 
work at company ABC. This will help them understand which document is for what. Because if you just upload a document without properly titling it, you can cause confusion and this will really, really affect your endorsement review. Also, they will also get a part where they will ask you what you named each evidence. So they will ask you what did you name mandatory evidences. So put exactly what you titled your document on that pane. Type it exactly there that this is what you like. This was what I named my mandatory document. So they know in case so that they can reference and say, oh, this was her mandatory. So that they will not mistake your optional evidences for your mandatory or your mandatory for your optional evidences. So title your document properly and also reference or type exactly what you titled your document under the pane where they will ask for this. Now you're done uploading your evidences, filling in your CV, uploading your recommendation letters, I'm filling in the application form. Well, it's time to apply and I'm wishing you the very best. So good luck. Okay, we move to the next step. Now you're wondering, I have applied for the endorsement application. How long before my application comes out? Well, good news is if you're living outside the UK, it takes three weeks for you to get a response for your application. Whereas if you're living within the UK, it takes eight weeks to know the response for your application. I know, very weird. It should be more for people outside, right? But I think they're being fair and making sure they look at applications coming from outside the UK before the applications coming from within the UK. Anyways, the good news is that in any way, no more than eight weeks, you'll get responses to your endorsement application. Oh wow, congratulations, you got endorsed. Congrats, it has not been an easy feat and I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself as well. Well, what's next? If you've gotten endorsed, what should you do next? Now, after you get your endorsement email, which should come with something like congratulations, after careful review, we have given you the endorsement. Well, the next step is that you need to actually apply for the visa. And you need to note that you have three months to apply for the visa. If you don't apply for the visa within three months after the receipt of that email saying you have been endorsed, well, everything has gone to waste because everything will be canceled. So within three months after receiving that email, you have to apply for your visa. I know, I know, I know. So the application, for the visa, the visa itself, the cost of it costs 167 pounds. I don't know how much it is in other currencies. Please do the conversion with whatever rate it is today. So it costs 167 pounds for the visa application itself. But note that it's not just the visa application you're paying for. You have to pay for something called the health surcharge. So for each year you're going to be staying in the UK, you have to pay for the medical health surcharge. And the medical health surcharge for a year is £624. Well, so if you were endorsed under the exceptional promise, meaning you have five years to stay in the UK, you have to pay £624 times five years plus 167 pounds for the visa. So you do the maths yourself, but if you are endorsed under the talents, you have to pay the medical health surcharge for three years, plus your normal visa fee of 167 pounds. Do the maths as well. Whatever the case is, you're going to have to pay your medical surcharge of 624 pounds for each year as well as your visa fee of 167 pounds. You apply and voila, you've applied for your visa. But take note, depending on where you are, whether within or outside the UK, you have to still go and do your biometric after you've paid. So you have to actually apply for a biometric date and place within your city or area of where you live. And for some areas, you have to actually pay for that biometric interview. I know, sad, still much money, and I don't know how much it costs for all the places, all the prices depends, but you would know this when you go to the link or the area which they would direct you to through all the links I will put under the description box below, so don't worry. So, after paying for your visa and your medical surcharge and applying for the visa itself and then booking your biometric interview and if you're living outside the UK, you need to provide things like your tuberculosis test if it applies to your country. So, after putting all this together, getting your biometrics done, you have to wait again for the stage two. Now, this stage two is for them to actually accept your visa application under the endorsement or not. Take notes, when applying for your visa, you also have to put a copy of the email they sent to you, technician sent to you claiming that you have been endorsed. You have to actually print that out, the email out, and submit it as a document 
when you're applying for your visa itself because they will need that as evidence to know that you have really been endorsed so don't forget that you will have to do that at some stage so after all of this i hope you get the visa and congratulations in advance because this has not been an easy fit the stages has not been funny but you have gone through and you have gotten to this stage so this is me telling you congratulations and i wish you well in all your endeavors and a safe trip to the uk if you are outside the uk but if you're winning the uk i also wish you the best in all your endeavors and i pray you continue to succeed in your career and i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like and share and please don't forget to subscribe please subscribe these videos if they've been help to you please subscribe to support the vision and to ensure that other people get to know about this video because youtube will recommend it for other people the more you subscribe thank you so much for staying pure to the end of this video thank you for clicking on this video and thank you for subscribing till then i'm your girl literally emailed stay tuned for my next video Bye bye